All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we've got another limited edition timepiece from Aviate Watches. This is the second watch they've done in partnership with the Royal British Legion, and this is a really, really cool timepiece. Really quickly, and you guys can probably read it on this paper right here, but with the release in 2021 of the Royal British Legion limited edition, they were able to raise 33,000 pounds sterling for the RBL, and I think that's really impressive. That money goes to help support the families of soldiers fallen, also to help soldiers that are dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder and other types of things that have affected them from the battles they've faced. So that's really cool. Each of these watches, uh, 15 pounds sterling will, when the watch is purchased, will be going to the RBL. So that is a really cool thing. Um, this is one of the pieces of the papers that comes with it, signed from the Royal British Legion, the Director of High Value Giving. And this is one kind of explaining a little bit more about what the watch is all about. This is the Hawker Hunter Duke Chronograph, uh, limited edition to 300 pieces, and also uh, being released in time for Remembrance Sunday, as you guys can see here. Uh, release date on this watch will be November 18th. You're probably watching this on November 11th, so about a week before the watch is actually going to be released. So very cool information that does come in the packaging with the box, uh, with the watch. So go ahead and move that to the side here and let's check out the timepiece we have in here. Now, this is a cool watch. I was very excited when Aviate reached out to me and asked me about having this watch here on the channel. I'm going to go ahead and show you the booklet that comes with it. You get your Hawker Hunter Duke Chronograph Royal British Legion Limited Edition. If you guys want to scan that there, you can pause that and scan it. But your working information about the watch and everything like that is right there. Uh, down in here, you're going to get your warranty card, I do believe. Yeah, this is going to be your warranty card uh, for this. Or I think this is maybe just from the Royal British Legion saying thank you. This is going to be your limited edition card here, limited to 300 pieces. So. Very nice looking timepiece. And as you guys can see, the watch is going to come with a spare nylon strap, a watch uh, strap tool and everything. So I'm going to pull this out of here and take a closer look at it. This watch is super cool. Lots going on with this one, as there is usually with every AV8 out there. Go ahead and show you guys the reference number on this. this is going to be the AB4080 RBL02. All right. So nice looking timepiece. We'll go ahead and get it started here. Push in the crown. And as you guys can see, the layout is very pilot-like, uh, pilot watch-like. So one of the cool things I wanted to note to you guys right off is this dial itself. It's kind of got some depth to it. And you guys can see the red poppies, or not the red poppies, but the two-petal poppy there on the dial. That's almost in this kind of translucent um, level underneath the applied indices on the watch. So really neatly done like that. I like the way they did that. Um, the dial layout's done very clean. You've got your 60-minute track up there for the chronograph. Mecha Quartz chronograph on this watch, so you get a smooth second, uh, smooth sweep of that chronograph hand. Running seconds being down here at the six o'clock position, you also get date functionality with this Mecha Quartz movement. Uh, like I said, all of the indices are actually applied on top of this kind of translucent layer that you can see the poppies underneath there on. Very, very nicely done. Chronograph over there at the nine o'clock position, giving you the Royal British Legion logo there. We've got a uh, limited edition down here at six o'clock. And then up here at the top, we've got Mecca Quartz. Go ahead and stop it. You guys can listen to this uh, pusher. Got a nice click to it and then reset it. Nice snap back. So Mecca Quartz, excuse me for that, guys. Mecca Quartz gives you that, that smooth sweep of the second hand and that clean snap back. So it's a combination of mechanical and the quartz there. So non-screw down crown on this watch, but it does have this cool knurling to it. And also this little red line around it, kind of giving a nice accent to it. The pushers themselves, you've got the red poppy on the red pusher there, two-petal poppy. You've got the Aviate logo on this crown, nothing on the bottom pusher. And then also the Aviate logo on this crown, which you're saying, why is there a crown over there? Well, that's because you can actually use this to turn that inner chapter ring for timing different things if you want to. So it adds a little bit more functionality to that chronograph instead of just being a standard old chronograph. The bezel on the watch, I love this. It's a non-turning bezel, but you get this coin edge on the watch that is kind of at this cut angle there. It's almost like a, a saw blade or a gear like that. I love the way that's laid out. It looks very nice. And it's got this black PVD coating on it, giving some real good contrast. Now, as I angle the watch there, you can get the depth on that dial. Very cool layout. You can see the slight dish to the... Um, to the sub uh, sub wheel down there, <laughs> sub dial, sub wheel. What are you talking about, Aaron? But the sub dial down there, and you can see the depth of those applied indices also on the watch. So the strap, genuine leather strap on the watch is done incredibly well. One of the most comfortable leather straps I've actually seen or worn from Aviate. Um, very very nicely done. The back of the watch, 
Of course, you've got the RBL logo there. This is a triple zero model because it is a, a review model that was sent out to the channel, but so you're not going to have an actual serial number or a, you know, a limited edition number. You will on the ones you order. They'll be uh, either you know, one to 300. That's all there are, 300 of these being made. The case finishing on the watch done nicely, mostly brushing all the way around. Nice little polishing chamfer as it comes down to the lug here, but nicely done, nothing too fancy. The case dimensions on this watch, talking about that, it is a bigger watch, comes in at 44 millimeters from side to side, not including the crowns of the pushers. 52.5 lug to lug, so pushing nearly 53 millimeters, which for some smaller wrists might be a little bit big, but it is in the, uh, you know, a pilot style watch, so it's supposed to be bigger. 13.5 thickness from the case back to the top of what I do believe is a sapphire coated mineral crystal with AR coating on it. And then you've got 22 millimeter lug openings if you decide to change the strap. Now, I would say there's not really much reason to buy any other straps for this watch because the leather strap is incredibly comfortable, but it does come with this nylon strap here with the Aviate logo on it, the Royal British Legion there, and I think also the Aviate down here on the keeper. And this is a nice, soft nylon strap here. So for me, I really like the, the black with the contrasting. It might be almost a little bit too much with this one on, but it's definitely going to look good on this strap. So, All right, let's pause it for a second, get this watch on my 7-inch wrist, and then make sure you guys stick around for the loom shot. All right, so here's the watch on my 7-inch wrist, and I do like the way the watch fits. I know at 50, almost 53, lug to lug, it might seem big, but I don't, I don't feel like or think that this watch looks big on my wrist. I think it looks good. I think it's a bigger case, but with the fact that it's a pilot-style watch, you've got the big pushers on it and everything like that, it's it's a great-looking timepiece. I would I'd wear this as a daily watch, no problem. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, 50 meters of water resistance on this piece, so... You know, it's a watch you can get wet, rain, you know, washing your car, whatever, no problem. Not something you probably want to swim with or do any kind of, you know, a lot of heavy water activity with it. But it is what it is with chronographs. And especially on a leather strap, this is a watch that I wouldn't be getting wet myself personally. So, all right, let's dim the lights and check out the loom. All right, so just shutting down the studio lights, you can get a little bit of the glow on it. Nicely applied loom on this, and it's going to last you... Probably a couple of hours. I, I tried this out the other night, and after about two hours, it was dimming quite a bit. But it, you know, the, my all, eyes also weren't adjusted to total darkness, so I didn't wear this to bed or anything like that. But you'll probably get quite a bit of glow out of this watch for quite a long time. So nice looking timepiece, guys. The uh, AV8 Hawker Hunter Duke Chronograph Limited Edition to 300 pieces. Like I said, guys, if you're interested in this watch and you're watching this video. Be sure to get on over to the website, which I will leave a link down below in the description, because with 300 pieces available worldwide, this one is going to sell out super, super fast. Only going to be so many people out there with this particular model on their wrist, um, and it's a, it's a really cool watch. So, all right, guys, you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom, and if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.